Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solar Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. So we have finally started using our microphone again. I was being extremely lazy for months now and not bothering to use my microphone. But I thought, okay, somebody commented on it, so I figured it's about time that I pulled out this microphone and actually make this audio sound better. So that's why there's audio recording behind me because I'm recording myself talking on my wonderful software. So anyway, to get into this video, we're gonna talk about insecurities and how to build your self-esteem because this is something that I've had to work through for, I was gonna say since birth, but that sounds a bit extreme, but for absolute years, for the entirety of my childhood, I was very, very insecure and shy and quiet and everything. And I feel like I can't even imagine growing up as a teenager in today's world with social media and stuff. So I know that a lot of people, no matter what age you are, struggle with a sense of self and self-esteem, self-confidence, the ability to just be you, essentially, and just do what you wanna do and be who you are. Like, so many of us hold back on that and don't feel like we're good enough. So I wanna talk about how to actually develop that kind of self-esteem within yourself. I feel like I'm saying self so many times right now. So something that I have done to build this, and I feel like it's the foundation for life, is getting to know myself. Because how can you be confident in who you are and embrace who you are if you don't know who you are? If you're not aware of your flaws, you're not aware of the things that you like and the things that you don't like, you know? So especially when it comes to relationships, you need to be aware of what you actually like and what you don't like to know whether somebody is a match for you. So we really need to get to know ourselves in order to start to then become comfortable within ourselves. You know, self-esteem is basically being comfortable in yourself. You don't really care what other people think about you because you love yourself and you value yourself. And in order to do that, we need to actually know who we are. We need to see the good and the bad, all aspects of ourselves. really get clear on who you are and all of the things that you like, all of the things that you don't like, all of the like hobbies, the things that you're into, just everything about yourself in all different areas of your life, getting clear on those and being able to then become comfortable in those. So it's kind of like a self-acceptance process of, I like to do this, that thing. I like to make music. Now let me get actually comfortable and secure in the fact that I love to make music rather than doubting it, feeling like it's not good enough, feeling like other people are gonna judge it or wondering what they're gonna think about it. You know, it's just about getting comfortable in enough in yourself to accept the fact that you like that thing or that you are that thing or that you do that thing, that you have that thing, you know? And so many of us are distracted. We're running around here, there and everywhere. We're always on our phones. So we're not really spending any time by ourselves to just figure out what it is that we want out of life and what it is that we're here for, like your purpose and who you actually want to be, you know? So it's just about putting down those distractions, putting down all of the external things, letting go of other people and needing to be around them all the time and spending time by yourself. And that doesn't mean just sitting there. You don't have to just sit there. Although I personally like to do that because my thoughts just kind of go crazy. But it could be just sitting there and doing something that you enjoy by yourself, you know, and just spending that quality time with just yourself and your thoughts and your emotions and doing something that you enjoy, hearing the thought patterns that come up and the kind of things that it says and why it says them, you know, and then getting comfortable enough in that sort of space to do that on a regular basis. The more that you do that, the more comfortable you will become in yourself and in who you are, you know? And it's just, it's really about being comfortable in your own skin. That is essentially what it is. And that will slowly build up the self-esteem because then the more that you spend time by yourself, the more that you see what you do and don't like, the more that you then start to accept those things, the more that you then start to act on those things and do those things and 
get more and more comfortable doing those things and then you start to build friendships around those things because you meet people that also do them and stuff and it just has this ripple effect that elevates your life because you're now being authentic you're now being who you are and the fear kind of falls away because you feel comfortable in who you are so you're not worrying about what other people are doing or anything because those thoughts are not coming in your head anymore because you're focused on what you're doing and the enjoyment of it and the excitement you know like if you go out on holiday say you go on holiday you go away with your family you're not sitting there thinking about oh what's this other person going to think about me being on holiday? Because you're so in the moment of being there and of experiencing it and doing the things and having fun and going to the beach or whatever it is that you're doing. Like you're so focused and in the moment doing them, but thoughts of what somebody else thinks of the fact that you're on holiday, like th those kind of thoughts just don't even come into your head because you're in the moment and you're enjoying it. I think sometimes when you're trying to build self-esteem or when you're conscious of the fact that you need to, we can then get caught in more thought spirals of, well, how do I do that? Like, what does that mean? Like, what do I do? And then you just get kind of confused and lost and feel like you're just not doing enough or that it's some kind of complicated thing. And it's really not complicated. It's just spending time with yourself and paying attention to the thoughts that come up. And when you're focused on something that you enjoy, other thoughts don't have room to come in because your thoughts are literally thinking about the joy that you're experiencing right now. So all of these fears are not going to come into your mind as frequently when you're focused on what you're doing and you're enjoying yourself. So it's just about spending time with yourself, doing things that you enjoy, getting comfortable in the fact that it's okay to enjoy them and it's okay to do them. And then it kind of builds from there. So now you're spending time by yourself and you start to notice things about yourself. Like you'll notice um, different thought patterns and things that come up or you'll notice your mood and how it changes because there's normally a pattern to what causes it to change so you might notice things like that or you might notice how you feel around other people and which people make you feel a certain type of way you know you just I feel like it heightens your senses because now you're comfortable in your skin and then you'll notice all of these other things. And I don't mean comfortable in your skin in front of other people. I mean that you're spending time by yourself. So in those moments when you're by yourself, you feel comfortable being by yourself, if that makes sense. So then the more that you do that, the more comfortable you get in your skin by yourself, the easier it is to be around other people and be yourself around them because you know who you are. You know what it feels like to be you. So then when they're there, you just carry on being you, if that makes any sense. I don't know if I'm wording this very well. So it really starts with just spending time with yourself. That is like the first number one thing that you could do and the foundation for it to then develop a sense of self of who you are and what you like and what you don't like. And then from there, your confidence will grow, but it can't grow if there's no foundation for it. So you need to be experiencing who you are. You need to be literally because I feel like when we're insecure or when we're doubting ourselves or when we're like worrying about what other people think we're not very present we're not present with ourselves we're not present in our body we're off in our heads so you're not really noticing anything about yourself you might not even notice literally anything you might not notice your thought patterns you might not notice that you're hungry, like your your mind is elsewhere. So it's not really paying attention on you. It's paying attention on what you think other people are going to think or what you think they're doing or thinking or whatever, you know? So in order to build self-confidence, you can't build confidence from that space of being off in your head because those thoughts are gonna run absolutely wild and you can't control them. So it's not gonna, it's not a solid foundation to build any type of self-esteem. So in order to create that foundation, you have to reground yourself, bring yourself back down into your body, like bringing your mind back down into the present moment and being centered and still within yourself, as in literally just sitting there with yourself. Like I'm sitting here talking to myself right now, but literally just sitting there with yourself and feeling your own energy and I know that probably sounds really ridiculous, but just sit in, like, just literally sit there and feel your own 
vibe your own energy like you might feel your mood you might feel your emotions you might feel a weird pain in your body or like a weird twinge or I don't know like you might feel chills or any kind of sensation might come up but just observing it and paying attention to it will really help ground you back into your body and then once you're kind of feeling more grounded and feeling more present in the moment then you can start to ask yourself questions about what you like and what you don't like what you want you know what you want out of life um what things are going wrong in your life what things need to change all of those kind of things you can start to have that conversation with yourself once you've brought yourself back to send her back into the present moment and then from there asking all of those questions to yourself and letting those answers come and literally having that conversation where it just flows like you might even argue with yourself or whatever just having that weird conversation it's not actually weird it's perfectly normal and from there you'll get to know yourself you'll get more comfortable with yourself the more you do it you'll get more comfortable and eventually you will reach a point where you're able to be that centered and that grounded with other people being around you but it's a process and you can't beat yourself up for it because it does take time it takes a lot of conscious effort but you will get there but it has to start with you even knowing who you are and even having any type of sense of who you are and type of anything to do with yourself like you need to have that kind of relationship with yourself first before you can even think about being confident around other people so it always comes back to yourself first and just focus on those baby steps and one thing at a time and not try to go off in these spiral thoughts of feeling like you just want to flick a switch and get there instantly because that's not how this works we are healing trauma here you know you are healing trauma you are healing wounds and you are tr like transforming your belief system and that is a process sometimes it's a lifelong process so go easy on yourself and just spend a bit more time with yourself that's like the foundation thing that i would say so i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for listening and watching i really appreciate you you can definitely comment down below if you have any video suggestions or if you want to carry this conversation on you can also dm me on instagram or my phone number is also in the description box below um yeah you can text and whatsapp me my mind went so blank right then but yeah everything about me will be in the description box below as well as links to my music my social media my jewelry brand elemental mirror one-to-one -one services because I do offer one-to-one -one mentorship with me all links to everything including one-to-one -one sessions will be in the description box below and I will see you in the next video bye you could say I love you I can't get enough but I just want you to myself I don't need you when I fuck you need you when you touch me